Hi guys, welcome back to Maxim Grunin Art. This is Maxim with you here today starting a new painting. I'm using a thumbnail sketch, this little drawing on the bottom. So it's in ballpoint pen and it's of a, a farmhouse in the, in the later evening or early night hours where when everything is darker and uh, less detailed there is uh, not that much sunshine anymore so um i got the inspiration to paint the scene uh, visiting and staying as a resident artist on manitoulin island at a blue jay creek art farm and um you know, I was volunteering in the gardens. I was um, like a vendor at the market. There's so many amazing things I've done there as a resident artist and a volunteer. And um, just like just participating in a local community was probably the best, the most amazing experience. And in the evening, I would go out and uh, have a phone call with the... Um, loved ones or uh, my girlfriend or you know and then i'd walk back to the house uh, for the night and i would see this uh, sublime beautiful scene uh, where um just um, hugged by these trees there's this little farmhouse peeking through with my host just uh, in her bedroom journaling or reading or watching uh, something on the internet and uh, that one one warm and uh, yellow lit window and the rest of the scene is dark green dark blue dark um, purple and yeah so that's the scene and uh so uh, let's let's get into the technical things you know technical it's not you know very technical but um what am i really doing here uh how am i able to um understand the steps that i'm taking i want to take you guys through the first step i've done was you know of course create a sketch uh, so kind of bring my creative idea out and see what it looks like, what it's like before it gets painted. Uh, so I went out, I sketched from life, I added, um, you know, so uh, connect, I connected in an intimate, personal way with the subject matter that I am setting out to create as a painting once this was done i carefully uh, transferred the sketch over to the canvas and just by using slightly diluted acrylic black i drew all of the uh, major mm, information uh, onto the board and the house the trees and um, even more so, I indicated where darker, lighter, and mid-tone information would sit. So that next step that I'm taking now is to start blocking some of the major color information in. So I already see that okay i indicated for myself that this is going to be mid-tone and i indicated with the black drawing that the lower portion of the painting will all be within darks and so i am building up my you know kind of an underpainting or blocking layer where the dark and the color information the light and dark tonal information and then the color information 
are indicated. I often uh, paint on on recycled uh, wood boards uh, because they are so readily available and are a kind of nice to use as a kind of an environmental awareness thing that I could be an artist, I could be a painter and uh, I could access and recycled and uh, reuse the materials that are readily available uh, why does it have to be a brand new factory made canvas or other equipment if i can participate in a kind of a art recycling process i like that it's a personal thing i don't think it's a uh, right or wrong or uh, everyone has to do things the way I do things you know it's just diversity it's just something that I picked up along the way um so uh, first uh, the challenge in the beginning of this is to kind of work against the translucency transparency of paint um, the area of the sky just above the house that i'm working on with the just the first attempt it um, it had little gaps and uh, translucent effect like it was um, a thin coat and i really wanted to build it up more and uh, as i move along i probably will edit it even more where streaks of primer are still visible through the paint marks in some areas that's okay but uh, in in other areas i will be layering a bit more paint so that the layer is smooth and mostly permanent. Uh, in order to get the window and the light there started, notice that I went and I've done my darks and midtones, and then the final thing I'm doing with this layer is the lightest and uh, colorful information. Uh, so this the yellow and a little bit of white mixture lands in such way that like it's translucent so you can see that there's a spotlight within the window and then I kind of uh, applied transparent coat lightly around like to create a kind of a, a warm glow around the window and then I dropped a little bit of that color information of the highlight information down onto the grass below or lower under the building next i am i noticed that the tree the shape of the tree is a little bit too similar in tone light and dark information to the sky so i am building up a bit more shadow a bit more color and shadow information into the tree and now i am building a, a shadow information into the object there and that is going to deepen and uh, create a more of a three-dimensional feel um f within the object that i'm painting and also very important is color so do you see that even the roof of the house the roof of the you know or just that area it's not just gray or gray purple it is a red gray purple blue bluish purple um lighter darker gray so it is really important in my process and uh, in the school of painting that i 
studied that to to bring more expression and a little bit more color than I you know set out to load richness and complexity and color information into every bit of the painting so i am deliberately mixing a variety of dark and mid tone greens brown purples gray blue another kind of green and i am building that with uh, brush strokes and little smears and areas painted areas like patches kind of um like visible pieces of different colors they're all interacting and they are carefully chosen to be um, harmonious in in all these different areas like the shadow properties you know hopefully i will not paint my light information together with the shadow i will wash the brush and mix uh, another color that's lighter and apply it next or to support the shadow and vice versa so as you see by i'm saving some of the previous painted areas and i'm adding new maybe lighter information and maybe expressively stroking the surface with the brush producing these diverse marks that are describing lighter and darker information within the valleys and the hills of the objects that I'm painting. And they're also uh, more, more mid-tone and light information is coming into the darkest areas so that they don't stay flat. Um, sometimes I think of my painting as a satisfying visual information per square inch. When I am viewing my work, I am looking, or even other artists' work, I am looking at investment of creative... Um, energy uh, am i bringing a rich loaded with variety uh, with satisfying variety information to the viewer and i am being the first viewer of my work as i'm painting it and looking at it so i am i want to be more satisfied than this so i would like to see a bit more color information i would like to see a creative search of mark making mark making at large it's it's quite intricate uh let's let's just go over very quickly of what it means uh to me to make brush marks or it's called mark making so i am writing thinly just like uh calligraphy or i am placing a thick continuous wide stroke or i'm using a line or I'm smudging, smearing, and rubbing the paint, and so much more. So all of these varieties of application of uh, paint coat, they produce various painterly effects, and we can see those effects with when we 
look at the at, at any painting it is possible to get um like oh it's uh, such a rich and expressive surface and um it is um imaginative and it's um searching and probing um, for new visual form here i am starting to develop smaller features and additional details so majority of the canvas is resolved and i am moving from large to smaller visual information as i paint so i am not really stuck on developing small details and features too soon because i would like to see the entirety executed and um, kind of holding and uh, working together uniformed consistent um, the style of um, you know like maybe this is expressive impressionism or Im impressionist kind of a approach with a little bit of a mixture of illustration and a little bit of a smoother areas are visible and so then at the end of of the project i would introduce the fine features like the stars or uh, just look after every little thing that needed to to get um, make its way into the painting and then the project is done and uh, thanks for watching guys and i'll see you soon yay do 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 do